Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a haul for you with products from Amazon, Young Nails, we've got some Red Iguana, Mia's Secret, and others, so stay tuned to see what I got. I will have everything linked down below and pinned in the top comment in order of their appearance here. So if you have any questions, go ahead and check that pinned comment. And if you are not already, go ahead and hit subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you never miss out on a video. While you're there, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. It does really help me out. And guys, we are so, so close to hitting a thousand subscribers. I've told you before that once I hit a thousand subscribers, I've got a huge giveaway for you. So share the video with your nail sisters. Let them know to come on over so that we can get that giveaway started and you guys will have a chance to win some awesome prizes. So what I'm showing you here is the stamping plate set I purchased by the brand Ijubis. That stamping plate case that I was showing previously, these plates are too large for. I need to get a new one because I think I've got 10 to 15 of these Ijubis stamping plates and they don't fit in that case. So if you guys have a case that you know would fit these larger plates, it, they're just a little bit too wide. If you know where I can get one that's somewhat inexpensive, hit me up and let me know because I really need one. But basically, um, I just, I didn't really have a lot of stamping plates previously. So I wanted some that'll make some quick and easy nail art. I see so many designs that are just gorgeous and they're done with stamping. So I figured, you know, it's it's really easy way to add some detail to your manicure. It's a really great way to add some design to your set. So, and these ones I actually purchased because I saw someone on Instagram using them. So I asked her where she got them. She said Amazon and gave me a picture of the plate. So I purchased the set. I actually will be doing a video here very soon for you guys using some of these spring plates because I did an acrylic set for St. Patrick's Day, but it ended up being, um, I wasn't able to upload for St. Patrick's Day. So I'm gonna use some of these floral stamps to make it a spring set. So that'll be coming up here shortly. I have a couple videos planned prior to that. Um, I do have a gel polish baby boomer video that I will be doing. And then I've got a prep video going up as well. And then that acrylic video for you guys. But after that, let me know what you wanna see because I wanna give you guys the content that you wanna see. I apologize that it's been so long that I've been gone. I've had so much going on in my personal life. Um, a lot of just, just bad shit going on, you guys. <laughs> Um, so I apologize I haven't been here, but with all the craziness going on in the world, I don't have any clients coming in right now, and we all just kind of need some therapy, some distraction, <laughs> and doing nails, doing videos is very therapeutic for me, plus I miss you guys so much. I miss interacting with you guys, so I will be pumping out some content here for you guys, and I would like to know what you want to see so I can produce the content that you would like. So back to the video, I'm going to show you guys these new bits that I purchased. This first one is going to be the medium crosscut bit by Young Nails. This is similar to a sanding band, but it is so perfect for working on the natural nail and tucking up into the cuticle area. It's just awesome. This is the five in one bit by Red Iguana. And so it's fine on the tip, fine grit on the tip, medium grit in the middle, and then coarse on the base awesome awesome bit this one is the two-way volcano bit by the brand panna purchased on amazon and this is the panna shaving bit also from amazon both are great for removing bulk um, and then the shaving bit is perfect for removing gel polish this is my new favorite bit for removing bulk and um, so like if i'm going to do a fill or even shaping up the nails it is the X cut coarse grit bit by Young Nails and it is freaking amazing. And then these last two were cuticle cleanup bits. Also great bits purchased from Amazon. I loved them both and you'll be seeing all of these bits 
very frequently in my videos, but if you guys need to see something specific, you have a question about a specific one, let me know because I would be happy to do a video or include that information in another video for you. So this is just a dust collector I purchased because my old dust collector was not picking up enough of the dust. This one is freaking incredible, guys. It is so good and I'm so happy with it. And then I got one of these big diamonds. I had not planned on purchasing one, but I do have some clients that have a hard time posing their hands. So I thought, well, if I have a diamond, then they could just wrap their hands around it and it'll be a lot easier. So that's what I did. I bought a bunch of new brushes and a brush case. This one is the um, Gel Sculptor by Young Nails. Awesome little brush. And on the bottom of this here, I've got all of my gel brushes. This is a brush by Beatles, and I have used that in not my last video, but the one before where I showed new products by Beatles. The set that they have of those brushes is awesome for working with gel and gel polish. So check that out if you have any questions. And then I got these two brushes from Michaels. These are not meant for nails, they're just regular paint brushes but they were perfect size, shape, and density for what I needed. That first one was a bit more dense and would be really great for detail work and really scrubbing the base into the nail bed. And then that second one was a lot more, um, I guess, flimsy, just less dense. So it's perfect for just floating the gel down the nail. And then on this top um, layer of my case here, I've got my new acrylic brushes. Actually, the one on the right-hand side with that redwood handle, that's by the brand Kamisi. This one is also by the brand Kamisi. It's a great brand. They're inexpensive brushes from Amazon, but they're great quality. This one I purchased because um, I plan to use it specifically with my glittered acrylics. And then the other one that I showed first is the Artistic Acrylic Sculptor by Young Nails. That brush is freaking amazing, guys. If you're having a hard time and you don't have a good brush, like get that one because it, it's a number nine, so it'll pick up a good enough size bead, but it also comes to a really fine point and you can get in the, like around the cuticle area, create smile lines, like such good detail and I'm so happy I purchased it. This one is an ombre brush by Red Iguana. I will be using that to show you how to do that gel polish ombre that I talked about previously. And then I've got some more products by Young Nails. I will show you all of these glitters individually here in just a moment, but let me set them aside and I'm going to show you this file. This is their metal diamond file. Holy crap, guys, this file is freaking amazing. It was on a flash sale for $2, so I purchased two of them and I wish I would have bought more because if you have a hard time getting crisp sidewalls or free edges because your um, files are not stiff enough and they kind of give a little bit and bend these diamond metal files are perfect they're one-sided so it's smooth on the one side which makes it perfect for getting right up in that sidewall and so you don't cut yourself or your clients and they're super stiff because they're metal so you just get the sharpest cleanest edges and they're freaking amazing I don't know why they don't advertise them more because they are amazing, amazing files. I'll definitely be picking up some more. This glitter right here I'm holding, this is the color Apple. Oh, so pretty, that color. I used it in my green acrylic set that I'm wearing right now, the one that I'm going to turn into a spring set once I fill it. I will record my fill and I will stamp on top and maybe change up the design a bit. That glitter is so pretty. And then this was actually their set of new glitters, this eight pieces here that were all new glitters. I also purchased a couple of their mylars and their into you netting so that I can do some netted designs pressed into my acrylic. But of course, like I said, this will all be listed down below. While I'm showing you guys these glitters, um, I do just wanna mention that I know there's a lot going on in the world right now and I know it's, it's a lot to deal with. I try to remain as positive as possible and I encourage you guys to do the same. If you're staying home right now, good on you, thank you. I have people that if they become infected 
with the virus that's going around, it would kill them. So I appreciate everyone taking the precautions that are necessary to keep this under control. And I will be pumping out as much content as I can for you guys, going back to that three videos a week. If I can get out more, I will, um, so that you guys will have more stuff to do. I just, doing nails can be so therapeutic and having this community here can really be a great support system. So I just wanna be here for you guys. So I am, um, let me mention real quick, these sets by Mia Secret, I did swatch them all and I recorded it when I got them in. So if you guys wanna see me swatch all of those little sets of colored acrylics, let me know and I can definitely edit and post that video for you. I also got some hard gels by the brand Cassie, I think is how you pronounce it, and IBD. I've heard these are similar to Young Nails gels. So I figured let's give them a shot. And then I got that No Lines Liquid by Mia Secret. It's supposed to like help make the, when, when you do a fill, it's supposed to make it um, blend better so that you're not having such um, a line of, a line and like a disconnect between the fill, the old product and the new product. So we'll see how that works. And then I got this case for my bling and my glitters. My glitters were not put in this yet, but they do fill up the entire bottom section now. And this top section on the right hand side, I have all of my Swarovski crystals that I purchased. On the left, I've got some little caviar beads. And in the center, in this video, they're empty, but I am gonna fill that up with my regular bling. So then saving the best for last, I got a brand new Practice Hand by Red Iguana. I'm so excited about this one. Um, super excited, guys. This is a silicone hand. It's got wire inside so you can bend it and mold it, pose it. It's so close to being real. Like, it's amazing. So I haven't named it yet. I do need a name for her. So you guys let me know what you would name her and maybe I will send a prize. So if, if I choose your name, I will get in contact with you and send you a prize. So leave me a, the name for the hand down below and then leave me your Instagram or email address or something that I can use to get a hold of you if I choose your name. But that's basically it, guys. Let me know what you think down below. Of course, if you have any questions, suggestions, or requests for different sets, let me know down below. I love to hear from you guys. Be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.